Hey everyone, it's Risa from Living Simplified and I'm using a new program. Hopefully this will work so that my video is clearer because I've been having problems using my iPad. So I'm coming to you on my laptop. Like I said, hopefully this works, but I've been wanting to share this recipe with you, actually a couple different recipes with you on making your own seasoned salt. I found quite a few recipes, which I will jot in the comments. The one that I'm going to make is an Italian seasoned salt, uh, but there's many others like lemon pepper, and um, there's even one for Moroccan, there's a barbecue rub. So I'm gonna share lots of different recipes with you that I discovered that use, of course, essential oils. So first, with essential oils, and I'm only talking about the ones that I know about, and that is doTERRA, because I know how pure they are, how potent they are, they're certified pure therapeutic grade, and some of them are safe to take internally. So you can actually use them for cooking and it would make sense to you on which ones um, because we have oils like oregano that's a spice that you used to cook with basil thyme black pepper um, there's even pink pepper um, so many um, trying to think if i'm forgotten any any others rosemary is a really good one um, so those are ones that you can use in cooking but when you use it in cooking because essential oils are so potent. Um, they're strong. They're more powerful. Let's see, 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. A little bit goes a really long way. And so what I always tell my customers is you are not going to just put a drop of essential oil in, say, this is oregano. So if you're making spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce or some type of Italian dish, you aren't going to just put a drop of oregano oil in that and then stir it and taste it. That could be too much. What I always recommend to my customers is you will take out the little um, dropper insert, take that out, and then you're going to dip a toothpick in there, and then swirl the toothpick in your sauce. Taste it, and if you need more, then put another toothpick full. But do not just go by drops unless the recipe is specifically for essential oils, and it goes by the drops that way. But a really great way that I've learned, discovered, to put essential oils into your dish and still get the right amounts and not too much is by seasoning your salt. Because normally you use salt to season your dishes anyway, and so you can season your dishes with salt and some essential oils at the same time. So the recipes I'm going to share you share with you are a really easy way to add a hint of additional flavoring while you're cooking um, with those essential oils. So um, one important thing, a little bit more that I want to tell you before I share with the recipe with you, is remember that when using these spices, use them like you would salt. If you want more of the essential oil flavor, then you're going to add more oils to your salt mixture or add that toothpick um, or a drop of essential oil if it's not too much to the dish after cooking it. I always recommend the toothpick. Another tip is make sure you use a slightly coarse salt, like kosher salt. I have coarse co kosher, kosher salt. I can't talk or Himalayan salt. Those are um, the favorites out of all the recipes that I've looked at. Those are the ones that are recommended. Do not use regular table salt. It will make um, the, the taste end up being too salty um, for it because you're going to end up using too much salt in your dish to get enough of the essential oil um, taste in there as well. So use coarser salts, kosher salt, Himalayan salt. And, um, and then if you want to add the salt after the dish, just look at how coarse it is. You might want to get a little less um, granular, granular salt, but not, not tiny, but just the right size for you to season if you want to do that after the dish. So I'm going to share with you an Italian salt recipe. And so what you do is you need a bowl. I always use glass or stainless when I'm dealing with essential oils. And I'm going to use pink, pink Himalayan salt, and I'm going to put in two tablespoons of pink Himalayan salt into my bowl. There's one tablespoon, 
two tablespoons, and you can always double, triple this recipe, whatever you need. So I have two tablespoons of pink Himala Himalayan salt, and now I am going to use one herb, parsley, dried herb. I'm going to do one, or sorry, half a tablespoon of dried parsley. So I'm going to get half a tablespoon of my dried parsley, put that in the salt mixture, and then now I'm ready to add my oils. So I'm going to, because this is an Italian salt recipe, I'm going to use rosemary, thyme, oregano, and basil, and I'm just going to do one drop of each. So where's my rosemary? So here's rosemary oil. Rosemary oil is also really um, well known for helping with focus, concentration. It's also great for hair health and for hair growth. Um, I put, I love putting a drop of rosemary in my mascara for my um, the health of my eyelashes. So I'm going to put one drop of rosemary, and also rosemary is one of my favorite herbs and oils to use when I'm making chicken. I love. The flavor of rosemary with chicken. Next one is thyme. Thyme is really great at supporting those snores in your family. Believe it or not, if you put a drop of thyme on the big toe and rub it in, that can really help those snores. Um, but we're going to use it in our seasoned salt recipe because it's also wonderful to season your food with, and that is one drop of thyme. Next one is oregano. This is one powerhouse of antioxidants for supporting your immune system when you have the flu, cold, viruses, bacteria, um, anything like that. Um, oregano is amazing. And of course, it's just so yummy in food. So one drop of oregano. Here we go. And then the last one is basil. Basil is the one I always pull out when anyone in my family is dealing with any type of ear issues. Um, you never put oils inside the ear, but I just put the oil on um, my finger and rub it, in, rub it around the ear, or you can put a drop on a cotton ball, put that cotton ball gently in the ear, kind of tape it over so it doesn't fall out, and then the aroma from the essential oil will get into the ear, because essential oils are naturally um, volatile aromatic compounds. Volatile means that the particles are always moving. And so when you open up a bottle, all you have to do is open it up. Those particles start escaping the bottle. So if it's on a cotton ball, it'll start escaping the cotton ball and enter into where you want it to enter. So you get those um, therapeutic benefits just by opening a bottle or putting it on a cotton ball. Okay, so one drop of basil. There we go. And that is it. And so now what I'm going to do is I have um, a spoon to stir it up. The salt is going to absorb the essential oils. And then now I have a great Italian seasoned salt. So I think this would be good. I've never made this before. Um, but what I plan on using it on is like a, a rub or seasoning for chicken, steak, anything like that. And then I bought these little cute, oh, can you see it, glass jars that actually seal really well. See that? That I plan on putting my seasoned salt in. So I plan on making a few different recipes. I'm going to do lemon pepper as well, but I only have one um, container, so I'm only going to do one recipe right now. But I will share in the comments of this live all the different recipes for the seasoned salt. And so then the next thing that I would do is just pour the seasoned salt into my container. I have a nice funnel that it has a large hole in it. I never know how to point this. And so I'll just put the funnel in and then I'll pour that in there. But I did wash this out so it's a little damp. So I'm going to wait to do that in a second. So there you have Italian seasoned salt. And it smells so good. It smells so good. So like I said, I'm going to share some more recipes with you that I found in the comments. Please let me know if there's something that you would like to see me make on Make It Monday. Let me know. I'm the DIY diva as uh, my sister and my customers call me. I love creating things, making things, sharing how to make things to help you have and live a healthier life, um, more natural 
um, life so that you're eliminating those toxins in your home. And I hope that you find that my recipes are not difficult to make. They take pr pretty much all the ingredients that you have other than maybe some essential oils that you might need. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Please like my business page on, um, on Facebook, Living Simplified with Risa, and follow me. Also find me on YouTube, Living Simplified with Risa, and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of these videos, because I'm always downloading all of my Make It Monday videos onto YouTube so that you have an easy place to go and find things that you need. So you guys have a fabulous, blessed day, and I will see you next Monday. Take care, y'all. Bye.